Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to Oklahoma. Alright, so we're working on a couple things today. If you recall from the previous episode, we bought a new truck. There it is right there. This is a Caterpillar truck. And we need a trailer. Now originally I was waiting to get a new trailer. But uh, what actually happened was that the trailer I thought was a grain trailer actually wasn't. Uh, it was actually for seeds. <laughs> it was a cool trailer still, but doesn't work for... It didn't, doesn't work as well as I wanted it to. So what we'll do is we'll go back to... Uh, we do have a couple options. I suppose we have Wilson's, which are always good options. And we also have... I think there's one other... Uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, maybe it's not in here. I'm thinking of one other one, but... We'll go for... I think we'll go for a, a white Wilson trailer. I don't usually use the white ones. I usually use the... Um, the black ones, for whatever reason. It'll probably match the truck a bit better. I don't know what the deal is with this truck, but it's like on the inside, it looks like it's got like tinted windows, like super tinted windows. I don't know why it feels that way, but it definitely does. All right, do these mirrors actually work? No, not at all. Not at all. All right, let's get hooked up here. Hopefully this works, this truck. Sometimes, the problem you run into is that the truck is a little bit too tall for the uh, the trailer. It happens sometimes, but seems to be good. Alright, let's head back to the farm. Take our first drive in our cat truck. Works really well so far from what I can tell. Uh, top speed is 154. Holy smokes. Well, I guess if you're going to get around the map, this is one way to do it, that's for sure. Is that a good way to go? Yeah. It's definitely one way to go about it, jeez. Although I do feel like the turning's a little bit like, uh, it's a little bit of a slower turn. I don't know what the deal is there, but it feels that way. But I'm happy it does 150. It's still climbing, we're doing 100, we're doing 80 right now, so that's a good sign. If you ask me where I got this truck, honestly, I don't remember at this particular time. I want to—I'd have to look around for it. Uh, maybe try LS 2015. Uh, you could try that, or maybe, um, yeah, that'd be my guess. There we go. Yeah, it feels like it's a little bit slow on the turns. I don't know, but it's a nice looking truck. It sounds nice too, actually. Inside the cab's pretty nice as well. One of the better inside in interior cabs. Wow, this the dashboard's nice. Uh, we'll keep going straight here. The dashboard's nice, at least. Ah, yes, we have all these <laughs> bales of straw just out in the field right now. I think we gave straw to our animals, if memory serves. So I, obviously I bailed the rest of that field and left the bales there. Apparently I left a couple on the ground. Now this thing does have a jake break, but... Often Jake bricks can be rather annoying. And I think, I don't know if you can do anything special with this truck. I don't think so. Uh, take the Jake brake off, try axle down. Apparently there's IC in this truck. Really? Huh, it's the first time I've seen that. Oh, you can. Oh, that's kind of cool actually. There's the engine flashing. Kind of neat. What does that do? Roll down the window? It does? Wow, that's cool. And that opens the door. Huh, oh, interesting. And that's the window there. And that's the passenger door. That's kind of neat, I guess. I think it actually makes it louder on the inside the cab, too, which is kind of funny. Hey, that's kind of cool. I'll take it. Coming up to the main farm here. I don't know what it is. I'd have to go back into the editor and look at uh, the, what do they call it, the distance of all the different areas because obviously there's still something in this area that is really dragging down the FPS there. Alright, we'll park the truck over here for the time being. We don't, I don't think we actually need it 
at this particular time. But luckily we still have... Oh, that's a nice, nice sound too. Sweet. Uh, luckily we still have enough money to buy some other things that we need. Excellent, so now we have the truck. Good to go. Um, so let's check our animals real quick to see what the situation is there. I don't recall. As you can see, some of the fields have already turned. Uh, cows. Do you have straw? Yes. So that's the dairy cows and the beef cows. Do you have straw? Yes, but just a little bit of straw. And we have two cows that are ready to go. I'm going to need TMR now. Actually, do we have TMR? Let's go check our uh, bunker. Where is it here? Let's go check our bunker real quick to see what the fermentation of this silage is. Because if it is at a decent amount, then uh, I don't think it's, it's not ready yet. Or is it? No, 81%. Not quite ready, but we have straw and we have hay now, so we can make TMR soon. Very soon. I guess actually if I progress time a little bit throughout the day today, I'm sure we'll be able to actually have uh, silage, I think. Let's just check. 81%. I wonder how long that would take to ferment. Let's find out. 84. 100%. There we go. I didn't think I was going to take too long. But uh, there we go. So that is apparently silage. I really need to take that notes mod off. It really, it's annoying sometimes because there's lots of buttons that use. Uh, I'm not getting, didn't get compacted properly there, it looks like. There's lots of buttons that use R. I could always change the notes mod, but I haven't really used it as much as I thought I was going to, uh, which is like not at all, so. I wonder if this is silage over here, or if this is manure, and I didn't compact it properly, which is entirely possible. Hmm. Do we have a front loader at all? Uh, I think one of the tractors has a front loader on it. Do I have a front loader for this tractor? That is a different question altogether. Uh, let's take a look at our inventory, so to speak. Um, no, that would be a negative. That would be a big negative. Although, we could get a wheel loader now. Apparently the new Holland's like slipping like hardcore. Yes, apparently it is. I don't know what's happening there, but... It's doing something alright. not playing nice with the course, but that's for sure. Where are you going, Combine? That's the nearest waypoint? Really? <laughs> Give me a sec here, guys. Alright, I see what happened. It's just because I put it on the wrong course. So didn't like what I was trying to do with it. I, I, guess, I guess I had to put the combine on the unload course, not the combine course. So that's the reason why that was so messed up. That was strange. All right, back to the main farm. Uh, so now we need to make some TMR. Now, uh, what options do we have for TMR here? Um, I think maybe we have a little bit of hay and then some straw now and some more hay over there and we have silage now so we need to make TMR so we could do it with a TMR mixer self-propelled TMR mixer I think we need some more money for that I don't use that thing very often though uh, actually let's see do I have the modded one still uh, feeding technology Ooh, we could use the ferrole ferrole 150 horsepower has 21,000 liters, and this one's huge though, 64,000, but we can't afford that right now. And that US feature there is for pigs primarily. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the Federbali. I think it's actually Italian, but we'll get it. And we'll just ask them to deliver ever so kindly. 
rather than going back up to the shop again. Uh, where are we here? There we go. Reset the tool. Yes, please. And what we'll do, so we need 150 horsepower on the mixer. Uh, 150 horsepower on the mixer. So we actually only have, this tractor's 100, 200 something, and that tractor's 135, I think it is. So we actually need this tractor on it. Uh, let's go ahead and detach. There we go. I guess I could theoretically put the, uh, <laughs> I could put the big tractor on it. Ah, another thing we do need is, we need, uh, let's grab some forks. Uh, we need, I think Timber gives some front loaders with his. Yes, there it is. Case front loader, like so. And then we also need some sort of forks. Uh, so let's go with, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with these ones. Let's go with these ones because they're cool. There we go. And we'll just reset those back as well. Deliver them, whatever you want to call it. Good. All right, so let's grab all those equipment. All those equipment. Wow, that's terrible English, Ian. Yikes. Let's grab all that equipment and we'll go from there. Drop off the weight right here beside the Mendeco there. There we go. And uh, where is the forks? Where are the forks over here? Okay, let's get hooked up then. Over here. Like so. And let's grab the actual forks this time, not the uh, front loader. go good then we'll come over here and what we'll do actually is uh, we will hook up this uh, the big cultivator to the mixer just so we have an idea of uh, of what it's at just move this out of the way for the time being There we go. Detach that. Grab the mixer. I know you'd never really hook up a mixer to this big attractor, but it needs a lot of horsepower. And we only have this tractor and the tractor we need for the front loader <laughs> that have enough horsepower to actually use it. There we go. So we'll drive this over together to where we have our uh, where we have all of our bales of hay. So what we'll do is we'll put one straw, one hay, and and then we'll see what we'll what, what we have what what, are, what the mix is like. Because of course it's always going to be interesting to see how things work. Alright, there we go. Let's hop back into the other tractor here. Uh, so we actually don't want the automatic loading. Enable automatic loading? No. So these, um, these forks do have automatic loading, but it's not always... Uh, you can turn it off or on if you want to. One second, coffee break. Okay, so, do I have one straw and one hay over here? Oh, I totally do, sweet. All right, let's get uh, lined up a bit better here. There we go. And let's grab one straw and one hay. <laughs> or at least try to. All right, we'll grab these ones in the end then. 
There we go. Let's back up a little bit. Are we attached to anything? No, good. Excellent. Now, these forks actually do come with, like, their own uh, <laughs> camera, which is kind of annoying sometimes. But kind of helpful other times, so. Well, look at that. That works out perfectly, almost. There we go. It's one of each. What's the mix like? And, uh, oh, you can put sears and vegetables in here. Oh, that's kind of neat. I forgot you could do that. Turn mixer on. Sure, we can turn the mixer on. Doesn't really make a difference. All right, so. Apparently our forge mixing. It's not forage, it's forge mixing right now. All right, let's go over to our silage bunker and uh, be back in a sec. All right, so we are back at the silage pit, and I picked up this bucket because I've never used this bucket before, and I have no idea how it actually works. I don't think there's anything you can do with it. Work position, yes. There, good. I'm glad it's in the work position now. I don't think there's anything else you can do with it. Probably. I don't know what work position actually means, but. Uh, we're gonna find out here. You can actually mix. Oh, that's interesting. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of uh, silage here from the, with this thing. I've never used it, but I'm just kind of curious how it works, or how it's supposed to work at least. Oh, look at that! That's really cool. Look at that. If you guys can see that or not, how cool is that? <laughs> that's neat. I don't know how to, I guess you just tip it like normal, but there you go. That's kind of an interesting little, uh, can we turn it off? Oh, we can. All right, so let's put a l the first bucket in here. And I guess you can just tip it. I would expect you to be able to tip it at least. There it goes. Although it looks like it's not going in there, but there we go. All right, let's see what the mix is like now. Needs a little bit more silage, if I had to guess. Yes, good. Let's grab another load. It's such a random looking bucket though. All right, let's turn the bucket back on. It's kind of neat though, like, I, it's an, I understand what it's for though. It's actually for like, uh, uh, like when you have like a proper pit, when you have uh, like you never really uh, expose the whole bunker, right? Like this. Um, what you would do is you would like you know shave part of it off using this is what it would actually be meant for. But uh, and they do have a mod for that, but I have not messed around with it much. There we go, got that. Let's go ahead and put it in our t TMR mixer here. There we go. Now I'm just gonna do it a bit at a time. I'm just gonna check and see what the fill level's like here. Still need some more. Might need the whole thing actually. Let's go put a little bit more in there. And check. Uh, it's still not quite right. So we need to see the hay and straw go down a little bit more than that. Probably just needs the rest of it actually. Let's go ahead and just put the rest of it in there. See what the levels are like. Watch, this is going to be too much now. Oh no, I could probably use a bit more even. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know these things. Alright. There we go. Let's go ahead and get one more bucket's worth. It's kind of a neat bucket though. I think um, I think that those little spots there are probably manure, if I had to guess. 
Uh, so I wasn't sure what color was going to be what. Usually a silage, uh, when it's fermented on a map, it looks dark. I have to be careful here. Um, looks like really dark, but on this, well, on that particular bunker, it's not the case. Alright. What's it like now? Oh, still a bit more, but we're getting close to the point where it'll be too much almost. Alright, let's check. Uh, we just need a little bit more. We might need the rest of it actually. That might be enough now. Nope, still needs a bit more. If you look at the straw, you can see that uh, the straw is just a little bit too high. I only put one bale of straw in there too. Like you can actually get away with not putting any straw on us at all. Uh, that can work, but um, I didn't do that, so. Because I like to mix it up a little bit. Put a little bit of extra straw in there. There we go. I don't know if this tractor would actually be able to handle this bucket. Like, this is a pretty mighty bucket. Alright, let's check that level now. Uh, just a little bit too much still. There we go. Let's check. <sighs> not quite. It's not far off now, but I don't want to want to put too much in it. Oh, it's gonna take the rest of the silage. Like, look where the straw is. Last little bit here. Alright. So everybody says, there it is. So yeah, it just needs the rest of it in, in silage, basically. Well, it's good to know. It's always a, like, it's always one of those things you gotta be careful about. You don't wanna put too much in. So let's move this out of here. Make a big turn here. And what we'll do is... Detach this guy because it just looks silly together. But it's a good way to monitor what the levels are like because um, if you don't do that, then you never know what you're gonna, what the actual uh, combination is gonna be. All right, let's put this guy away here. We can just, I'm just gonna leave it here in the corner for the time being. I may or may not use it more. Alright, let's grab the Federbole. Get our quick sip of coffee. There we go. And let's go give our cows some TMR. Um, where are we here? Cows are down there. So let's give our beef cows TMR first. And that's the wrong button, Ian. You're not playing American Truck Simulator. Apparently, I've been playing a little bit of American Truck Simulator and it's growing out which buttons I'm supposed to be pressing. It happens all the time, though. Alright, so note to self one, one hay, one straw, and the rest is just silage. Just fill it up. And you don't have to be so dainty about it. Just fill up the whole thing. Alright, here we go. Into our cow area here. Here we are. Let's check. There we go. Ah, which way are you unloading? Why are you unloading on that side? I think you can change this side. Or can you not? Really? It has to be on that side? It can't be on the, uh... Oh, this one you can't. A lot of them you can. So what we'll do is we'll do this then. We'll turn around. Because it looks ridiculous coming out of that side. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Make the big old turn here. And... I forgot to do this thing. There we go. Alright, now this time, let's see. 
There we go. That looks better. Oh, that's all we needed. All right, let's check the see what the levels are like now. So everybody says. Uh, oh, that was right there. <laughs> they only needed 7,500 TMR. There you go. Sweet. They're good to go for a bit now. So let's give the, le the rest to our dairy cows. Uh, which is around the corner here. And I think we'll call it up so there. Alright, uh, that's water there. If memory serves. Or no, it's not water there. Yes, it is. Should have gone with my instinct. Uh, water. Let's put the rest over here. I believe you can put it in here. It's funny, every little map, every little area has like a slightly different uh, way of going about things. Alright. There we go. Give them some TMR. That'll be good for them as well. There we go. Spread that around. Nice. So now they have TMR too. Excellent. Alright folks, that's it for me for today. Gave our cows a little bit of TMR. Picked up the new trailer for the farm as well. I'll have to look into that uh, clip distance issue because that's bothering me now. And uh, certain things are lagging the FPS quite a bit. Uh, which is always annoying so anyways folks that's it for me today hope you enjoyed if you did want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more oklahoma my name is ian robson again and i'll catch you guys later